Pow! What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and we got to talk about how Juice World blew up and how his song Lucid Dreams made a comeback. Yes, dropping videos was something that was a pretty big help, but it wasn't exactly that simple. So let's do a timeline starting with last year. On July 17th of 2017, Lucid Dreams was dropped on SoundCloud and that song did a million views before what we would consider him blowing up. Fast forward about seven months to the next year, on February 15th of 2018, Pigeons and Planes does an article saying that this guy is about to blow up. A couple of weeks later, on February 25th, of 2018, All Girls Are The Same dropped on Lyrical Lemonade. Now, All Girls Are The Same did well when it dropped on Lyrical Lemonade, but not necessarily as good as Lucid Dreams, which we'll get to in a second. First, we gotta talk about the fact that four weeks after All Girls Are The Same dropped, a month later, it was announced that Juice World signed to Interscope for $3 million. Juice World has been pushing out music consistently at this point and getting good reception, and now he just has a bigger foundation and structure. And and then two months later after the record deal on May 10th, 2018, Juice World drops a second video on Lyrical Lemonade. This time it's for none other than Lucid Dreams. And this is when the song makes a comeback. Not just because there was a video release, you had a song that did about a million views in a year, now get 2.5 million views in one week. I talk about it in my video, great content never dies. And one of the reasons that we talk about for a song to be able to come back is having a bigger platform to present it on. Another reason was an artist just having a bigger fan base and those fans retroactively going to look back at music. Juice World had both of these things. Lyrical Lemonade was the perfect place to have his video released. It wouldn't have done this well on just any old platform. Artists, please keep this in mind when you look for placements because a perfect example is PNB Rock Song. Song, heart racing he dropped a video in august of 2017 on lyrical lemonade and the video's barely done 700,000 views matter of fact it hasn't done 700,000 views yet and it's almost going on a year when pnb rock dropped this song on lyrical lemonade he was bigger than juice world was when he dropped his songs on lyrical lemonade but it didn't do anywhere near as well because it was the wrong primary audience lyrical lemonade has a large audience but there's a certain type of audience that follows them there's a certain type of music. If you look at all the songs, PNB Rock does not fit that, not only in the type of music, but really just the type of artist that he is. I've had many conversations with artists where they were wasting their time trying to get their music placed in a place that the song wouldn't be successful anyway. And now the second reason I mentioned for songs being resurrected is the overall artist popularity just increasing and then fans all of a sudden going back to discover old music. We can start by looking at a chart from an article that Genius wrote. Going back to last December, nobody was really checking for lucid dreams in terms of looking at this website it was a relatively low search for people going to the page however after all girls are the same was released at the end of february people also started to check for lucid dreams once again because you have new people starting to discover it. the people who had already heard it it was one of their songs they liked it they listened to it a lot but they weren't searching for it again and if you look at the chart more and more people are looking for lucid dreams over time but this is all in a period that it was just all girls are the same that was doing better and better again the lucid dreams video didn't drop until may 10th so it may makes sense that all of a sudden now people are hearing Lucid Dreams and going directly to the Genius page as this chart shows versus hearing all girls are the same, discovering Lucid Dreams by listening to his catalog and then checking for the song meaning on the Genius page. So that's just quick coverage of what you'll see with a lot of artists like Juice World who come up on SoundCloud where they'll establish something themselves, they'll get popping on SoundCloud, but then there'll be a lull of what you see in terms of them getting to another level of attention until they get a bigger place platform at least, which is often introduced through a label situation. But I think Juice World's situation, his whole story is a perfect example of once again, great content never dies. It only goes to sleep. Lucid Dreams was released in 2017, got about a million views in that time, but now all girls are the same as at 30 million views and Lucid Dreams is at 40 plus million views. Great content never dies. It only goes to sleep. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.